Senator Ron Paul is out with this very tough ad today, accusing you of being a hypocrite, a Washington insider. How do you respond to that? Uh, well, if you, as I just discussed on Huckabee, very proud of the uh, the work that I did for the uh, with uh, log companies. Watch, watch. With companies that shared my values and who were promoting the things that I worked on and promoted both when I was in the Congress and afterwards. Private sector healthcare and 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 a and a, and a strong energy industry. Senator, a quick picture with this little boy. Sure. <laughs> What do you think about the Occupy Wall Street move, movement pushing for a constitutional amendment? Here we go. Hold on. For what? To get money out of politics. One, two, three. To make it illegal for corporations to fund. I think it would be against the uh, right to Senator. petition your government. Thanks. Hello there. To give corporations a voice. They want to make every, corporations every, illegal every, to donate to politicians. Everybody should have an opportunity right. who are affected by government to be participate in the in the activities of the government. If you're pro life, no should be disenfranchised. If you're pro life, how can you be pro war? Uh, there's something called a just war theory that, in fact, would war sometimes cause a lot less loss. And what's just about attacking Iran if we're not attacked? What's just about attacking Iran if we're not attacked by them? You did get my vote, by the way. Well, thank you very much. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I appreciate your answer. Answer the question. Will you preemptively attack Iran? Will you preemptively attack Iran, Rick? Thank you. Rick, we're going to lead us into World War III. You're crazy. <laughs> Doctor, is attacking Iran first without being attacked part of just war theory? Not if you read English. <laughs> I can find you a copy in English. Do you see any circumstances, Colonel, under which the Iranians would really do anything to act against U.S. military assets in the region? I, I don't for two reasons. First. Uh, they are a net importer of, of gasoline. So the moment they do something provocative, those imports go away and, and damages their economy. And frankly, they can't make money if they can't export their crude. Secondly, despite these sanctions, despite the talk of sanctions, I think it's all bravado. They have as much to lose as anyone else by taking a real military action. So believe it or not, I'm going to say something controversial here. I think Ron Paul's policy or perspective on Iran is probably the most accurate of the, of the current GOP candidates. The Iranians, from my sources, already have a nuclear weapon or are very, very close to it. Uh, I'm being told that they are a lot further down the road than, than, than our uh, own intelligence apparatus is willing to admit. So I think we have to understand that they're only going to be so provocative because they don't want to have the, you know, the, the hellfire rain down upon them, which I think obviously would hurt both sides at this point in time. Rick, <laughs> what happens if Iran has a nuke? It's an issue. Uh, Does your Iran, Iran with a nuclear weapon is the nightmare scenario. Does your policy change if they have one right now? Um, watch your car, watch your car, watch your car. The whole world changes no, no. if they have one. That's, no, no, that's, that's the big problem. That's, that's the big problem. Right here, let's go. Let's get in. Colonel Schaefer says he agrees with Ron Paul's policy on Iran. So, would you listen to him? Excuse me. Excuse me.